Let me show you a much faster way to do the integral of x times cosine of 5x. We still have to do integration by parts. And then the traditional formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And what this is saying is that look at our integral and we have to pick something for u and we have to differentiate the u and then we have to choose something for dv and we have to integrate dv. And the idea now is Let's forget about all these notations. Let's just look at our integral and let's worry about what do we need to differentiate and what do we need to integrate. So I'm going to write down the d and the i. My students call this the di method for the integration by parts. So this is going to be the setup. We have the d and the i. And then on the side, we are going to attach some sign. We start with plus and then the sign alternates. So plus, minus, plus, minus. I don't know how many I need, but then let's just put on plus minus, plus minus, just to get ready. Maybe I need more, maybe not, but this is a good setup. Anyways, in this integral, we have two things, the x and cosine of 5x. Both of these are easy to integrate. Both of these are easy to differentiate. In that case, let me choose cosine 5x to be integrated. So I'm going to write down cosine 5x under the i column and then I'm going to put down x for the d column. As you can see, this row it actually represents an integral. You see, x times cosine phi x, that represents the integral. And the reason why we have a plus is because the original integral was positive. And the next um, row, you see that we have negative. The product of each row, the product of each row right here, represents an integral. The reason this is a negative, because the original formula says so. We are going to subtract another integral. Remember, when you are doing integration by parts, you have to do an integral inside of another integral, right? Anyways, this is how we get ready. And now, let's look at x. We have to keep differentiate the x. So let's just, let's just do it. The derivative of x is equal to 1, and the derivative of 1 is equal to 0. And we can stop right here, because if you keep going, the root of 0 is just 0 and things like that, right? So this is the first stop. If you see a 0 on the d column, we stop, OK? And now let's work out the i for the cosine phi x. What's the integral of cosine of phi x? So we are going to get sine phi x, but then inside we have a number, we have to divide by the derivative of phi x, which is 5. So we have to multiply by 1 over 5. And remember, the antiderivative cosine is positive sign. And now we have to have the same amount of rows, OK? So we have to go to a third row. We have to integrate this again. So let's look at the function part first. What's the antiderivative of sine? It's negative cosine. So we are going to get negative cosine, and then the inside stays the same. But then we have to divide it by the 5. And that will give us a total of 1 over 25. OK? So divide by 5 is the same as multiply by 1 fifth. So here is 1 over 25 over there. It's negative. And we're ready. We are done, actually. Anyways, let me just kind of show you how this is going to work. When you see a 0 on the d column, you know you are done for this. All right. Um, here's the idea. The original formula says you have to do d v, I mean, you have to do u v. And the idea is that each of the diagonal is exactly the u v part. So for the answer for this integral, all we need to do is multiply this diagonally. When you do the part of diagonal, it's the answer already. And you have to account for the sign right here, though. So let's do it. Pass the x times pass the 1 fifth sine of 5x. It's going to be 1 fifth x. So I put down the x in the middle. And then we have that part, sine of phi x. And then the next part of the answer is going to be a product of this diagonal. Account this sign, though. Negative 1 times negative 1 over 25, it's going to be a positive 1 over 25 cosine of phi x. And we are done. And the idea is that if you do 0 times the next diagonal, it's 0. 
we are done. This is it. At the end, you just put plus C, and you can box this for the answer. This is it. Integration by parts with the DI method.